The gun you're looking at is the Maverick 88 Cruiser 6 shot and 20 gauge. Ever since I bought this gun, I've had a couple conversations with gun guys, and every time I talk about it, I get the same question. Why? Why, 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 why? Because I think it's fucking cool, that's why! Now open up the cash register! Or, is it like this, or... Like this? Nobody knows. Well, first off, welcome to my workshop, a.k.a. The Dungeon. Secondly, I'd just like to let you know that if you came to this channel looking for high production quality, You've come to the wrong place, my friend. This is a sub $200 gun, and you're watching it for free. So, you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. In this video, we'll be doing a faux unboxing, as well as an overview of why I started this channel and where I intend to go with it. So, without further ado, what's in the box? Alright, well... Let's see what exactly you get when you go into your gun store to purchase one of these fine firearms. Well, it says Mossberg nice and big on the front. You got a little warning there. Do not shoot it from the shoulder. And we'll get into depth on uh, how you should shoot it or ways to shoot it in later videos. So let's open her up here. And this is what kind of got me at first. I am own uh, a couple firearms and uh, I bought a lot of them from gun stores and uh, I don't know I guess I was kind of expecting when I went in there to uh, be able to handle this thing to see whether I actually wanted to get it or not but it comes in this uh, film packaging and it's kind of odd your first instinct is going to be to cut this, but it actually says, do not cut the film. So, this is some kind of I don't know, cheap way to store these things, keep them in uh, check from not moving around and bouncing around in the box. I don't know if it's something you might even want to keep. You might even want to use it to store yourself. It is reusable, as you can see. Uh, this is actually not the first time I got this gun out of the box. I have went and shot it one time, which is kind of what prompted me to start making videos about it. So, I mean, it's something. <laughs> and, uh, I paid 190 bucks for this gun, so I wasn't expecting to get a foam case with it or anything. So, then we'll get the gun, we'll take a little quick overview of that in a minute, and then we'll go over some of the extras, if you want to call it that, that you get. Get a nice, uh, Mossberg lock, which I'll probably use for my lock or work. You get a We Told Ya, Don't Sue Us, two packets. And for the safety information in the home, you know, firearm safety depends on you. Read it if you want. You got a Join the NRA uh, flyer here. So you can fill it out and send it in. I'm I'm not really that big on the NRA. I was a member for a year, but I don't know. Get a nice Maverick by Mossberg sticker that you could put on it. So that's something. Put it on your gun safe, on your truck, wherever. <coughs> and then uh, you get an owner's manual. You might be tempted to throw this away, but it actually does have some interesting stuff. If you want to put a heat shield on it or... Uh, actually has some stuff about the pistol grip too and uh, you might want to read it because <laughs> it's gonna tell you hey don't hold this fucking thing up to your face when you fire it you're gonna end up missing some teeth you know maybe some of you guys came to this channel or to this review or unboxing because you were watching pistol grip shotgun videos where people knock their teeth out and uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit too so uh, and then you get this thing I'm I can't even remember where this was on the gun when I got it. I just stuck it back on here. I don't know if it's just to keep this thing uh, from racking or what the deal is, but I don't know. You can always use it as a finger protector. <clears throat> so, 
Here's the gun itself, which I kind of showed you before. Uh, it feels extremely cheap. I'm not going to lie to you. It is light as hell. And there's a lot of plastic on it. But uh, I was actually enthused to uh, get this thing feeling as cheap as it does. That's kind of why I bought it. I originally wanted to kind of ghetto this thing out and uh, put a clothesline a sling attachment right here and uh, actually use clothesline for the thing, maybe carve something on the side of it. But uh, after the first time I shot it, I, I actually kind of changed my mind on it a little bit. This uh, grip, it does fit in my hand pretty good. Uh, I'm not too keen on these uh, finger grooves here, but it is alright. And it does give you enough purchase on the gun to handle it when you're firing it. Uh, like I said, it's got a sling attachment loop right here. I have some... Uh, sling attachments that I actually bought for a hunting shotgun of mine Mossberg. I don't know if it'll fit all the way in there but I'm gonna test it out and try here. Like I said it's super lightweight and uh, it feels super cheap but uh, I like my guns like I like my women. Super black and super cheap. So let's uh, take this thing over to the table and uh, do a little quick pass over on it. Alright, going to do a quick overview of the gun, starting at the front and moving to the back. Got your standard front bead sight right here, brass. I will say that if uh, you're aiming this thing out in front of you, it's a little difficult to pick up as opposed to having a stock on the shotgun. So I might end up actually changing this out for something a little bit bigger and a little bit more visible. And that will be for a future video. It is, uh, cap is drilled and tapped for a sling stud, so you don't got to buy an extra cap or anything that slides in there in order to put a sling on it if you're trying to get out of there for cheap. Moving a little bit further back to the fore end, it is a corn cob style and of course it is plastic. Uh, I kind of like this style for the looks and uh, for the grip it gives you. Uh, so to each his own on that one. Uh, we've got some markings here on the barrel. Mossberg chambered for 2 and 3 quarter and 3 inch shells. 20 gauge, 18 and a half inch cylinder bore barrel. And uh, I'll get into the future about why I picked 20 gauge over 12 gauge. And coming down here, I don't know if you can pick up this pin very good, but uh, it's pretty marred up. I don't know if they did that purposely to hold it in place, or if someone might have just been a little bit hung over at the factory that morning. But uh, not a deal breaker for me. I didn't expect to find finish for the price I paid for the gun. A little bit further back here, we got our trigger group. It is uh, completely plastic, and I know some guys don't like that. I actually have a plastic one on my Mossberg uh, 500 that I hunt with. Never had any problems with it. Doesn't really bother me at all. It's got the uh, cross bolt safety that the Mavericks have. Uh, Mossbergs usually come with a tang mounted safety, but all Mavericks have the uh, cross bolt right here. And this actually might be beneficial for a gun like this. Uh, in order to disengage the safety, you don't have to kind of break your grip on the gun and get up here to do it. So it's probably actually better off that way. Moving a little bit further back here to the grip, you got some uh, texturing on it right here. I really don't know if that does anything for you, but I mean, it's there. It makes it look a little bit better. Got your finger grooves here, so it's hollowed out. I'm going to save some weight, <laughs> I guess, doing that and uh, some of the cost. Like I said, you got your uh, hole for a sling stud back here. So uh, that's pretty much it from front to back. Well, here comes the part of the video where I uh, explain exactly why I bought this gun and why I'm doing a, a video series on it. Uh, if you've come this far in the video, you either think what I have to say is interesting or you find the voice of somebody who sounds like they ate a box of gravel and gargled with rubbing alcohol pleasing to the ear. And if you're uh, wondering why I'm in this silly get up and stuff, I just uh, would like to keep a little bit of anonymity for myself. In this day and age, you make a video about guns or you make yourself look stupid on video and it might come back to haunt you either at your job or maybe someone at your kid's school sees you making a fool of yourself. So that's the, uh, the reason for the crazy get up. Now, uh, why I bought this thing. In a nutshell, uh, it was just to have fun with. I just wanted a cheap gun that I could maybe do something cool with, that wasn't going to break the bank, that I could take to the range and just have fun with it. Uh, I originally, when I saw this thing, I, 
I planned on kind of ghetto firing it up. You know, I was gonna I was gonna use a clothesline loop right here and some clothesline for the sling. I was gonna carve something in the side of the receiver here. I uh, planned on duct taping a flashlight to the front of it. Just you know, something fun to do, something to take out, something to talk about. You know, something cool. Uh, the reason I ended up making a video about it and plan to make some more on it is I talked to a handful of guys, gun guys, you know, experts, whatever, and every time I mentioned buying this to somebody or thinking about buying it, the response I got was, why? Why are you going to buy that? Uh, you're not going to defend your home with it, are you? You better at least train a bunch with it, and, you know, what purpose does it serve? Well, you know, got me thinking, not, not every gun serves a purpose, you know. Some of them are just to go out and have fun, and I guess that is the purpose of it. Uh, so, I took it, I bought it anyway. I took it to the range, and uh, I'm going to tell you, I was pleasantly surprised with how I shot it. Maybe it's just me, but uh, I uh, was putting them in there, pie plate size, by about 10, 15 yards, and that's with slugs. You know, obviously shot out of a cylinder bore, you know, you you got a little bit of leeway right there, but even with slugs, you know, aiming out in front of me and like this, man, I, I didn't put them all in the pie plate, but uh, I did pretty good with it, especially for the first time out there shooting it. And it kind of got me thinking, you know, is there a purpose for this? Would I defend my home with it? And uh, I'm still on the fence about it, but I'm starting to lean in that direction. I have uh, some tight corners in my house, and I've tried, you know, maneuvering around him with my uh, shotgun and, you know, with my AR, and it's definitely more difficult to do with than something like this. And, you know, somebody might say, well, why don't you just go get a pistol and do it that way or whatever. And I have pistols, but I know pistols will kill people one shot, you know, no problem. But I'm going to tell you, you hit somebody with a slug coming out of this 20-gauge barrel, and it's game over. I don't care, you hit them from the kneecap to top of the head, I mean, they're done. Anybody who has ever put a slug in an animal for one of these knows, you got a fucking hole there, and they're going to bleed out pretty quick. And uh, I don't know, it just kind of got me thinking about naysayers. I've seen videos of, you know, pistol grip shotguns suck, and, you know, the guy doesn't even have a pistol grip on his shotgun, he's just using the stock. And I've seen some other guys, you know, run them and stuff, and different techniques. So, I don't know, kind of got me thinking. I'm uh, not a novice shooter, but I'm definitely not uh, one of the tactical guys either. So, I figured it might be a good journey to take and uh, kind of put it through its paces, learn a little bit about it. And plus, uh, there aren't very many pistol grip shotgun videos out there. Uh, like I said, you know, you guys say, oh, it sucks, and, you know, they're, they're firing it like this, and... I mean, that's cool and all, but, you know, maybe there is a purpose. They have been making them for quite some long time now, and uh, I just figured it might be cool to show other people who might not be totally into firearms, like a lot of these experts, uh, just what it could do, what you could expect from it, and, you know, maybe someone's just out there looking to have a good time with a cool gun. And uh, that's pretty much the genesis of why I ended up making this uh, video, so... Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, maybe I'll make a couple other ones if I get any good responses off of this one. So, uh, have a good day, and I'll see you later.